Well, good evening. And uh, we've reached day 20 of the uh, Corona lockdown here in South Africa. And last night I started sharing with you on uh, threefold things and uh, what it means. And uh, tonight I just want to continue sharing with you just a little bit around around that. And uh, I said to you last night that the Bible is filled with examples of threefold things. We all know the the scripture also which speaks that a threefold cord no one can can break. I just want to stimulate your thoughts tonight and also say to you that God, when he created us, he also created as a threefold being, spirit, soul, and body. And each one of these dimensions is taken up in the other dimension, like I shared last night. So without any one of those dimensions, we, we are incomplete and we are not called human beings because we are created as a tripod, tripod being. I say to you that the whole purpose of us coming to what we call the third day position or the position in which we function and operate from the most holy place is when we come to that place where we can become Christ to those in our environment. And uh, again, I want to emphasize the verse that I that I read to you last night, and I'm just going to read it again. It says in Philippians 3, verse 13 and 14, and I'm reading it in the Amplified Version. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. This high calling speaks of an upward call. There's a call going forth by the Spirit of God that is calling us upwards to come higher. And there's a demand for us to continuously come higher in our walk with God. You know, I've walked in my journey with the Lord since the early 70s. And uh, many of you watching this hasn't, haven't even yet even been born at that, at that time. And the sad thing that I see today is when I look back I find that the church in many places and in many instances, the way that we presented the gospel to people when we introduced them to the Lord Jesus was one of come to Jesus and you're going to be, go, be going to heaven or he's going to solve all your, all your problems. And that was kind of the beginning and the ending of it, of it all. You see, but that is not what God's desire is for us. I don't know how many of you can remember the picture that we were taught. I can remember still when I was in Sunday school, the teacher would draw this little picture of this two cliffs. And then they would draw a cross and then the cross would be Jesus becoming the bridge between the earth and being with Jesus in, in the heaven. And uh, the sad thing is that as I've journeyed and I, in my own personal walk with God, I realized that so often we as believers, we cross that bridge. And when we cross over the bridge, we think we are fine because we've arrived, we're safe now, because we've accepted Jesus and we have Jesus in our hearts. But the scripture also tells us there's a place called Zion. It's a place where we rule and reign as believers. And sadly, we find that most of the church finds itself in that valley, 
just having crossed the bridge, having come to the place of salvation, but I never come higher. I never go higher. I never journey to that place of dominion where I can come to a, the place where I rule and reign with Christ in my environment, over my circumstances, over my, my situation. And that is why this principle of threefold things are so important for us to, to understand. Because as believers, we can and never must be satisfied to be just an ordinary Christian, uh, living my life just waiting for Jesus to come back. That is foolishness. You see, our call is, is to come to that place where we become the bread, where we become the wine to those in the community and in the environment in which we live and in which we have our, our, our being. It is really the prayer of my heart that during this time of isolation, that the Lord would really have drawn you into a place of having a face-to-face -face encounter with him and where you will be challenged in your day-to-day -day walk with, 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 with God. And that he will truly and really become the passion of your heart and of your life, that you will never be satisfied with a mediocre walk with God. Just being satisfied that you've, you've been born again, you've been baptized, you've been filled to the Spirit, and now I'm waiting for Jesus. No, you've been called by God, you've been mandated by God to do the works of God in the earth. And that is what threefold things is all about, is that we grow up into Christ, that we come to that place of maturity in Christ, and that we can rule and reign with Christ, that we can rule and reign in the midst of our enemies. May God give us grace to step out of our comfort zones, out of our mediocrity, and come to a place where we are purpose driven to fulfill the mandate that God has placed upon our lives. Let's pray. Father, as the church tonight, we want to repent that we've come and have been for such a long time in a place of mediocrity. And Lord, that we do not or did not understand that there's much more to just being saved and being spirit filled that you have called us to do the work of the ministry, that you've called us to be stewards of your work in the earth. I pray that you will raise up men and women of God in this time, that we'll be filled with your spirit, we'll be filled with the power of your Holy Spirit, not with a focus on miracles and all the rest, but Lord, with a focus on expressing your nature, your character of who you are to those around them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for being with me tonight. I pray God bless you and that these words will be tied to your heart and that you will really hear the voice of God in this series that I've been doing, that God continuously speaks to you and draw you closer to him because he loves you. You are precious to him. He's given his life for you. And the only thing that we can do, you and I can do, is to give back unto him because we deserve nothing. Because he has done it all and he's given to us all that we need. God bless you and have a wonderful evening.